we started working on this actually a few days ago in anticipation of the possibility that the closure might be extended. The San Angelo Independent School District has decided to move to virtual home-based learning through April 10th. This week, teachers have been training to offer students lessons and assignments that they can complete online while at home. Students are going to be engaged in meaningful learning activities each week. Um, with their teachers will be available uh, each day for live tutorials so that they still have face time with their teachers and they're able to get the assistance mm -hmm. that they need. The district is focused on providing equitable access to students and will offer devices to those who need them. We have um, a strong plan to start that distribution on Monday for our secondary campuses. And we will also be distributing to elementary campuses, trying to start with at least getting a device in every home. Administrators are also looking at offering individual internet hotspots to students. In the meantime, buses equipped with Wi-Fi hotspots will be placed throughout the city for students to use if needed. Really, the systems and processes are in place to help them make the very best of this situation that no one could have anticipated. We may not have known that we were ready, but I really do think we are. We really do believe it's going to even move us further to future ready learning and meet that learner profile that we want for all of our students. The free grab and go meal service for breakfast and lunch will continue to be provided at designated campuses throughout the extended closure. Additionally, the district will be offering a Facebook Live session every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to update parents on the virtual learning platform and answer any questions they may have. We're all just, you know, in it together, doing our best to really diligently try to do what we can for our kids. Um, but we're here for you, and we are here for any questions you may have. And we, uh, we just wish everyone the very best through all this. For News Connection, I'm Amanda Lozano.